Wakey, wakey, sleeping beauty. Oh, sorry, sorry. Did I scare you? It was intentional. <laughs> Who am I? Hmm. I think you need to ask, what am I? No, 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 no name calling. God, this is so impolite. <laughs> Where do you think you're going? I'm not done with you. <sighs> oh. <laughs> So pretty, just pinned down like this. Do you like to be under me, gorgeous? <sighs> Gods. Who would think that someone so beautiful could say such things? Do you kiss your mommy with that dirty, dirty mouth of yours? <laughs> what I want. Hmm. Well, I just want to have some fun, you know. And when the other vampires told me about the infamous hunter who terrorizes the area, well, I just thought that it was perfect. It was the perfect opportunity to get rid of my boredom. A newborn. Me. <laughs> oh, darling, darling, darling. <laughs> I am almost five centuries old. Do I really seem like a newborn vampire to you? I'm offended. Well, I just came back from France. That's why you never saw me before. It's a pleasure to make your acquaintance. Mm. Oh, come on. Don't make that face. It was just a little pecked on your hand. Don't act disgusted like that, jeez. Oh, I bet. I could make you do a completely different expression if you let me. Oh. Ah, oh, darling, you're breaking my heart. I am not a pervert. Let's say I'm like a crow. I love shiny things. I am a lover of all beautiful creatures. You're included. Even though you hate and kill my kind without a single drop of mercy. I think that's actually really sexy. And you're going to kill me too. <laughs> ah, mon amour, you are so, so funny. You're really one of a kin. <laughs> that wasn't very kind of you, darling. <laughs> I just did this so you could see how rude that was. You shouldn't punch people just because you feel like it. Oh, little hunter. Oh, heavens. Maybe I shouldn't have slapped you so hard. You look like you're feeling dizzy. Concussed. <sighs> At least now you will let me talk. So, as I was saying, you're one of a kind. I've traveled the whole world and met many hunters and none of them were feared like you are here. The other vampires even tried to stop me from coming after you. <laughs> 
<sighs> well, what those children don't know is that when you're old like me, nothing can really stop you or kill you. Not even an experienced but beautiful hunter like you. Oh, darling, darling, I know you're dizzy. Don't go closing your pretty little eyes on me. I'm still talking to you. <laughs> Don't try to push me, you won't be able to. I did just told you that I am a five century old creature. <sighs> no, 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 no. Don't cry, love. I'm sorry I hit you. Here, let me kiss it better, okay? <laughs> Are you feeling better? Yeah. Kill you. I won't kill you, little hunter. I said I'm here to have fun. How would I have fun with a human corpse? <laughs> oh my. I'm not that sick in the head, you know. Anyway, I have a lot of plans for you. First of all, I'm going to turn you. No, 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 no. Shh, 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 shh. Hush, darling. <laughs> I wasn't asking your permission. I am going to turn you, and there's nothing you can do about it. And then after that, I'll show you off to the vampires and tell them how you submitted to me, thanks to my irresistible charm and great personality. <laughs> it's our love story. What love story? This one, of course. You may not be in love with me yet, but... After I show you how much fun I am, I bet you're going to fall hard for me. That's right, I'm going to sweep you off your feet. This is a promise. <laughs> and after that, we're going on a journey across the country. <laughs> Heavens, God, it's, it has been years since I've been here and I want to see how much things have changed. Then, if you behave during all of this, I'll let you pick the next country we visit. Is that a deal? As I said, I'm not asking for your permission. Just be a pretty and obedient human girl for me and say, Deal, my tall and muscular future vampire daddy. <laughs> Delusional? I am not delusional. I'm just a very intense person. I mean, you're the delusional one here. You keep trying to fight me, just stop it. God, you're being such a bad human. God, the other vampires were right. You are quite strong for a mortal. Hey. Are you really trying to punch me again? Do you need another slap? Huh, that's what I thought. I'm sorry, what was that? Why am I turning you into a vampire instead of killing you? <sighs> there are a lot of reasons for this, of course. Well, the first one, I like the irony that it is a vampire hunter becoming the very thing they swore to destroy. <laughs> I think it's poetic and dramatic. And I am a sucker for some good drama. And uh, because I love you. Yeah, you heard me. I love you. Indeed. I've been following you around and observing you for almost a month now. God. <laughs> and I love everything about you. 
I mean, come on. How violent you are when you hunt. How your eyes shine when you kill monsters like me. It was beautiful seeing you all covered in blood. You know, darling. Red suits you. <laughs> I wonder how aggressive you can be in bed. Did you just spat on me? Okay, that's enough. God. I was going to be gentle with you because first impressions matter after all. What if you like it rough? I'll give it to you rough. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. God, you taste delicious, little hunter. Give me some more. God, I love this so much. If I weren't old enough to control myself, I would suck you dry. But no worries. I would never waste such potential. No. <clears throat> To complete the transition, you need to drink my blood. Here, I know you're pretty strong, so bite me. <laughs> Go to hell. <laughs> oh, baby. I've already been in hell, and it's not that impressive. Come on, bite me. Drink my blood, or I'll make you. And trust me. It won't be pleasant. There, that's it. God, little human. <laughs> You're finally behaving. Should I reward you when all this is over? Hmm? Yeah, that's it. Keep going. <laughs> Alright, that's enough now. You can stop. No, no, by the look in your eyes, you're already feeling the pain of the transition. Shh, it's alright, don't worry, darling. It'll last for only a couple of hours, and I'll be here during the whole process. Now that you're too busy feeling pain to fight me, <laughs> I can finally hug you and cuddle you like I want. Shh. I know it hurts. It's fine. Shh, shh. It will pass. It will be okay. Trust me. <laughs> I know you hate me for what I'm doing to you. And I know you'll keep hating me for such a long time. The others I turned before you hated me too. But like them, you'll come around, won't you? Well, the only difference between you and them is that they are my brothers and sisters, and you, you, you're my lover, my future spouse, my new everything. We'll be a big and happy family, I can promise. <laughs> I'll never be alone again. <laughs> I'll never be bored again. Ah. <sighs> Can't wait to live the rest of my eternity with you, little hunter. Or should I say, my little vampire? <laughs> ah, it's okay. It's okay. I'll be here. <laughs> and shine, little vampire. Hmm. How are you feeling? Does your body still hurt because of the transformation? <laughs> oh, heavens, you spent so many hours agonizing in pain while you were turning into a vampire. Well, it got a little boring after five hours of you screaming and thrashing around. 
<sighs> I almost thought you wouldn't make it, you know. You sure took your sweet time. <sighs> of course, of course, of course. First thing that comes out of your mouth after finally waking up is an offense towards me. Oh, it's good to have you back, my love. <laughs> hmm. Where are you? Well, in one of my mansions. In the dungeon of one of my mansions, more specifically. I brought you here while you were turning. I know you probably aren't happy with this cell and the chains around you, but it's necessary. I knew you would try to escape as soon as you opened your pretty little doll eyes, so I had to make sure it wouldn't happen. Mm, I can't have my sweetheart roaming around the streets, can I? And besides, it's day right now. If you try to go out, God, you would burn to ashes. I do like a little bit of pain. Trust me, I do. But not in that level. I imagine you feel the same. Even if you do like it rough. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm. You want to know for how long I plan to keep you trapped in here? Why? Why do you want to know? Oh, is it because, um, you can't wait to wrap your arms around my super hot body? Hmm? <laughs> I bet it is. More like, wrap your hands around my neck. Oh, darling, darling, darling. I can work with that. No problem. <laughs> I'm having too much fun. Anywho, I'm going to keep you here until you start to behave for me. I can't show you off to the other vampires if you're not nice and obedient after all. I have... Only one rule for the people I turn. Obey me. At all times. Whatever I tell you to do, you cannot question it. You just smile and do it. <sighs> but I'm already well aware that you're quite unruly. So, while you're here, I'll be training you and working on, um, convincing you to obey me. <laughs> I can already picture it, yeah. It will be so fun to tame you. And after you're trained, uh, I'll let you get out of here. You'll still will be under my constant supervision until I fully trust you. Uh, but, 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 it sure is better than to be trapped in here, right? Don't you agree, love? Did you? Did you just call me an ugly? Psycho. No, no. I am not ugly. I was the most handsome man in my village when I was a human. After I was turned, <laughs> I was the most handsome man in my creator's castle. <laughs> and about the psycho part. Oh, darling, people have called me worse. So you'll have to step up your game, darling. 
<laughs> oh, please, oh, please. You still don't understand the situation you're in. Oh, God, love. Oh, heaven's love. You're not a monster hunter anymore. You are the monster. You're my darling now. My sweet, little, gorgeous pet. My honey. You're mine. Mine! Your days of hunting are over. From now on, just kill to feed yourself or when I tell you to kill. The sooner you accept that, the better it is for you. As I said... Oh God, as I said... Heavens for... You're not getting out of this cell until you behave how I want you to behave. Oh, blah, blah. Yes, sure, sure. You're gonna regret this. I'm gonna make you pay for this. As soon as I get out, blah, blah, nonsense. Everyone always says the same thing. It's so boring. Now shut up and let me ask you something. Are you thirsty? Oh, you must be so starving, right? Well, don't worry. I have something for you. Some blood bag. Fresh blood straight from a human's vein is so much better. But I don't think you deserve that yet. So I got you this instead. Come on, drink it. That's the first order I'm giving you. Hmm, you won't. I was expecting you to refuse. Sure, sure, fine, but it annoys me all the same. And I want to be a good partner for you, so I'll try again. <clears throat> My darling, could you please drink this blood bag I got for you? Come on, it's for your own good. I promise you. God. <laughs> God, you're so frustrating and stubborn. God, you're impossible. God, I even said please. God, I never said please to anyone before you, and you still won't comply. <laughs> God. <laughs> Do you really think you can starve yourself to death? Hmm? Vampires can't die of starvation. The only thing that will happen if you don't feed is that you'll start to lose your mind because of the thirst. Oh, you'll go feral in one way or another. You'll end up drinking the blood I give you. Because you'll be so out of your mind that you won't even think about trying to resist it. Actually, you won't think about anything at all. A monster's hunger will always speak louder, my dear. God, but you don't care, do you? You don't believe what I'm saying, so you're gonna try it anyway. I'm sorry, love, but I refuse to let you starve. I don't want to see your beautiful self turn into a completely savage beast. You don't know how unsightly something like that can be. I hate unsightly and unattractive things. What am I going to do? <laughs> Feed you myself, of course. Mm, now, isn't that so romantic? Open your mouth. I said, open your mouth right now. <laughs> oh, that's it. Oh, that's my darling. Here, drink it. Drink everything. Oh, that's it. Oh, that's it. <laughs>
Oh, now that you've finally tasted the blood, you don't seem so eager to resist. Hmm. <laughs> Uh, I told you, your hunger will always win the battle, every time, for eternity. <laughs> oh, don't you dare call me disgusting. You're the one who drank the entire blood bag and even made a mess all over your clothes in the floor. You're just as disgusting as I am. Oh, it's a perfect match, wouldn't you agree? <laughs> yes, 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 yes. I force you to drink it. Well, that's only in the beginning. After that, you took over the bag yourself and drank it until the last drop. Oh, I'll leave you alone. Why? I like seeing you all covered in blood. I did told you that before. It makes me, or, <laughs> excited. Come on, just let me enjoy the view. <laughs> okay, okay. No need to throw the empty blood bag at me. I mean, I'm almost done here, so I'll leave soon. For now, that is. You're all dirty, so I'll need to bring you some water and some clean clothes. Or do you want to spend the rest of the day like this? Yeah, that's what I thought, sweetie. Hmm, I must say, I'm impressed with how strong you are already. You were able to take the blood bag from my hands even when you're all chained up like this. Of course, you're still not stronger than me, so... Just don't even try to think of something stupid. You are probably stronger than the vampires that are around for decades. Uh, that's odd. Sometimes it happens that a newborn is stronger than the older ones. Don't let it get to your head, though. I'm the only one allowed to be cocky around here. <laughs> ah, God, you have no sense of humor. Always making these faces at me as if I'm saying something stupid. You better start smiling and laughing more if you want to get out of here faster. If you smile for me right now... I'll bring you more blood. I may even bring you a human so you can taste the fresh. Ah, it's so much better than blood bags. <laughs> what? Well, fuck you too, asshole. I'm tired of your insolence. Come here, right now. Huh? What? What? What is it? Hmm? Are you mad I'm grabbing you by the hair? Hmm? Are you mad you can't do anything against me? Or are you actually turned on, you freak? Oh, something deep inside of me tells me that you like this, huh? You like the things I do to you, huh? You like me? Oh, please, I know you do. I know, I know. You like me, and soon, oh, very, very soon, darling, you'll love me. Oh, shut up! Don't you say you hate me. It's not true. Shut up and just give me a kiss, okay? That's my second order for you. <laughs> you can't deny me. You don't have a choice. You're mine. You're mine so I can kiss you if I want. Whenever and wherever I want. <laughs> uh, you're mine. <laughs> you're mine. <laughs> Did you just bite my lips? God damn it. <laughs> 
<laughs> of course you did. Ah, oh, that's so like you. God, <laughs> I forgot how you like to do things. Let's get even, shall we? <laughs> how do you like that, huh? <laughs> it's not nice when you're in the receiving end, is it? <sighs> but then again, that's what you probably enjoy, right? <laughs> uh, just relax, love, jeez. I'll do to you everything you enjoy. What? Are you too shy to tell me? Is that why you provoke me so much? You want me to be more aggressive, but you're too shy to ask for it? <laughs> yeah, of course. That's it. That's why you hate me. No, you don't actually hate me. You just want me to be more dominant. God, now it makes more sense. Now I understand. Oh, God. <laughs> Gods, you're too cute. Um, don't worry, darling. We'll have so much fun while you're here. I promise. Oh, poor thing. You really think you have a choice? <laughs> You say you're never going to submit to me, but I told you to drink the blood bag I gave to you, and you did. I told you to kiss me even though you pretend you didn't want to. Yeah, oh, we kissed. Oh, just think about it, darling. Give your brain a little rattle, even if you don't want to submit to me. Do you really have a choice? Maybe you're already a slave to all of my wants and you just don't know yet. Maybe you do know and you just don't want to admit it. Anyway, I'll go away now. You need some alone time to reflect about your bad behavior. But I'll be back again in some hours. You didn't smile for me, but I did get a kiss in the end, so I'll bring you more blood. Mm, goodbye, my love. Don't miss me too much. Um, yes, 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 yes. You hate me, sure. I love you too, my little vampire. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my pet. There you are. Mm. <sighs> I missed you so, so much. Come here. Yes, come here and let me give you a little kiss. <laughs> mm. It's so nice to kiss you without having to fight you first, you know. <laughs> I've been so, so delighted since you stopped trying to resist me. Oh, blood. Heavens. That's the first thing you always ask for when I show up. Hmm, didn't you miss me? No. <sighs> Sometimes, you know, your brutal honesty is just too much. Anyway, yes, I did bring you blood. Oh, so cute like a little dog. Yes, yes, calm down. Jeez. <laughs> just wait just a second. I'll go get it. Yeah. 
Here it is. Uh, I know you prefer to drink from blood bags for some weird reason, but I really think you should get used to drinking from humans. So, I brought you this drunk guy I found nearby. Relax, jeez. I know you don't like to hear them scream while you feed on them, so I gag them. Even if he wakes up, he won't make a single sound. Hmm, my love, my love, God, for God's sakes. I already told you to stop with this nonsense. This is not the first human I brought you, and certainly <laughs> it won't be the last. No, you can't feed only from blood bags. Why? <laughs> because I said so. Now stop misbehaving and go drink from the drunk guy like the pretty and good little girl you are. There you go. Good choice, my little vampire pet. Enjoy, and bottoms up. <laughs> ah, you're so pretty when you feed. Let me just sit right here while I wait. <sighs> I can barely wait to go out with you. You know, have some fun, share some necks in a dark back alley. <laughs> it's not very classy, but I love some cheap frills. And if you keep being good to me, that day will come by really, really, really fast. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't mind me. Don't mind me. You don't have to answer or reply you can just keep on feeding like the good little vampire you are where was i oh yeah i really think we made a lot of progress this few last months mm -hmm. it took a while but you stopped denying my kisses and touches and even though you still nag me when I bring you humans instead of blood bags, which was really weird for me. I'm pretty sure that soon, very, very soon, you will completely accept that humans are food and not things you should really, really care about. Hmm, honey. No, no, no. Don't speak with your mouth full. You're spilling blood on the floor again. You're always so messy, but... <laughs> I'll let it pass because you're so cute and adorable. <laughs> oh, did you finish? Okay. Let me grab the body and put it with the others over there. Oh, and uh, by the way, sorry for not cleaning up the pile of bodies that you fed on these past few weeks. <sighs> I know, I know. I've been pretty busy lately, so I didn't have time to get rid of all this. No, oh, don't worry. Oh, don't you worry. I'll clean today. I'll finally finish everything I was doing these last few days. Mm -hmm. What was I doing? Well, <laughs> I was taking care of your new room, darling. Just decorating it, buying and moving your new furniture and arranging your new closet. <laughs> it was like creating a little house for my own little doll. It's, it's pretty cute. Just like you. Anyway, I was also getting in contact with my brothers and sisters. 
I feel like very, very soon you'll be ready to get out of here. So I invited him to my mansion. So whenever that big day comes, I can introduce you to them. Mm-hmm. They're all here already. Just so excited to meet you. They're, gosh, <laughs> they're eagerly waiting for you. This new member of our family. Mm-hmm, yep. Just keep being good for me for some more days and soon you'll be out of here. I promise. <laughs> good girl. Mm, don't you think it's nice when we both agree with things? You know... When we don't scream at each other, I bet you didn't know I could be such a softy. <laughs> don't get me wrong. I quite like our little quandrels and quarrels, but <sighs> I also like when things are good and calm between us. Mm, I can be very loving to you. That is if you're loving to me. Yes, I know, I know, I know it's hard to submit and to accept being controlled by another person. <laughs> oh, the struggle and everything, it was the same for me. You know, when my creator turned me, I was pretty feisty too, just like you. He spent a lot of months torturing me and training me to be the perfect son for him. This perfect vampire thing. Hmm? What? You want to know more about me? About my story? About this lore of the perfect vampire? <sighs> it's the first time you've made a personal question. Makes me, um... <laughs> really happy to see you're interested in me. Yeah, yeah, just curious. <laughs> sure, sure, if that's what you want to call it. Uh, but I think it looks like you're... No, I think it looks like love. All right, all right, jeez. <laughs> Such a hot shot. I'm going to tell you everything about it, okay? Just calm down, just... You have no patience, seriously. You know, you're lucky you're really hot. Anyways. <laughs> Gosh, you're so cute when you fluster. Everything started five centuries ago. I was, um, human. I know, ugh. I used to live in a small village with my parents and brothers. I was the youngest of five, no, six. As I told you last time, I was the most handsome man in my village. <sighs> but having a pretty face wasn't useful there. If you were a man, you know, all you had to have was physical strength. So, you could do manual labor to make money. I was, um... I was very physically weak. Weaker than all my brothers, my dad, all the other stupid humans in the village, and even weaker than some of the women I know, right? So, in conclusion, I was useless. Because of that, I wasn't able to help my brothers and father in the work, so I would just help my mother around the house. God, my brothers used to make fun of me because I had no physical strength and my father never said anything. I hate him. But I could see it in his eyes that he was really disappointed in what I was. And my mother 
She would always say that I should have been a girl. And I was completely useless as a man. I, I shouldn't dare call myself a man. I didn't understand what, why I was so different from them. And I didn't felt like part of the family at all. It's fine. Because of that, I really wanted to meet a woman I could love and, you know, make my own family with her. Uh, once more, my weakness was a problem. No girl would want to marry a man who couldn't do heavy work, protect her and her children, so... Yeah, I never married. I fell in love with so many times, you, you couldn't even count. <laughs> but I was already rejected. I saw my brothers getting married and having the life I wanted, just one by one, and I would get so, so mad and jealous. It was torture. It was. Do you know what? <laughs> you know what's funny? All those women that rejected me, they didn't want me as a husband, but they sure wanted me as a lover. <laughs> Even my brother's wives, do you know what I did? Ah, <laughs> uh, yes. I slept with every single one of them, just without care. I didn't have any remorse about my brothers, about those women, about anything. I'm pretty sure some of the children those couples had were mine. <laughs> ah, so in some twisted, twisted way, I guess I had a family when I was human. <laughs> I, I lived like this for years and years until my parents got tired of me, kicked me out of my house, out of my, out of my own home. So now I was completely alone and didn't have anything else. Just turned into a beggar. Some months after that, I tried to end it all. Yeah, I refused to keep living like that, and I decided I suffered enough. That was when I met him, my creator. He took a look at my face, and he liked what he saw. <laughs> he liked how beautiful I was, so he um, saved me. I was mad, of course, of course. Tried to escape from him a lot of times. Uh, even more than you. I would fight him, I would act like a brat, and I would... Oh, God. <laughs> I would thrash around. And he would fight back and punish me every time I tried to defy him. So one day, I just... Just got tired. I got really, really tired. I decided to give up and just do whatever the hell he wanted me to do. Then things got better after that. <laughs> yeah, it did. He would treat me nicely. He would spoil the hell out of me. He, he dared even show affection and yeah, the guy who beat me up showed affection and for the first time in all my life I felt truly loved. When he decided that I was well behaved enough he took me to his castle and that's when I discovered that he made others like me his children. God, I, I met lots of vampires that were turned by him in that castle. And he said that those people were now my family. <laughs> the 
family, my ass. God, it was so many people. He would barely pay any attention to me now. God, he, he had his favorite vampires in there, and I was so appalled to find out that I wasn't one of them. When I talked with him about it, he said if I wanted to be one of his favorites, I had to earn it. Gosh. God. Fuck. And I tried. I really, really tried hard, darling. The only thing I had going on for me was my looks. Just nothing else. Apparently, that I wasn't enough for him. Even if the reason he turned me into a vampire was because of my beauty. <laughs> so I decided that if he didn't have so many children, he wouldn't have favorites, would he? <laughs> oh yeah, you know the story, right? Castle burnt to the ground with all the vampires inside. <laughs> Yeah, and then when he returned from one of his trips, he saw all that mess and mm, the ashes of his oh so precious children just <laughs> ah, his face. It was the first time he looked really devastated. It made me feel good. Oh, his misery made me feel good. Oh, he tried to kill me as revenge. Don't get me wrong, but I was able to flee and I never saw him again. Then I spent some years all alone getting to know myself and all that nonsense. You know, what I was, what I could do, things I liked. <sighs> I met a lot of people and I had so many lovers, women and men. But I started to feel bored and lonely. The need for a family was back to torment me. Oh, I met this nice guy in a party. I thought to myself, I would love to have a brother like him. That's what I did. I turned him. I made him my brother. And that's how I started my true family. I started to look for people that grabbed my attention and I turned them. And now, I have the family I've always wanted. <laughs> my beloved brothers and sisters that are waiting to meet you. Well, some of them didn't like what I did to them. They came around. <laughs> Oh, I trained them so very well and made them obey me. I used all of the methods my creator used on me. Oh, but I am so, so much better than my creator. Because I don't create unnecessary competition between my siblings. I give full attention to all of them. And I love them all so much, and they know it very, very well. Your family's very peaceful. Very happy. Everything I've always wanted. <laughs> of course. <laughs> of course, of course. Just one thing, one simple, tiny thing was missing. You. My little vampire. My eternal love. <laughs> oh, now everything is in the right place. I finally have all I need. My beautiful family. Oh, I'm so happy to hear that. That you want to meet them. Soon, soon you will, my darling. Very, very soon. Hmm, something to tell me. Sure, go ahead. You. 
<laughs> you love me. Oh. Oh. <laughs> After so, so many months, how come I, I don't... <laughs> you're finally admitting that you love me, that you're mine. <laughs> oh, joy, joy. Well, God, that's the first time you ask me for a kiss. You must truly really love me, right? <laughs> of course, of course. Come to my arms, please. I love you too. I love you. I love you so, so much. I... I love you. Finally. Time has come. Yes. <laughs> ah, finally. Oh, finally. Time has come. Come on, stand up, stand up, love. How about, you know, <laughs> let's meet our family. Yes, right now. You're ready for this reunion. <laughs> I was going to wait for some more days, but I see you came to your senses faster than I predicted. Anxious. Oh. <laughs> Darling, you don't need to be. No, they love you. I'm, I promise, I'm sure of it. And if they don't, well, I'll make them. <laughs> you don't need to worry. Oh, darling needs a hug. Of course, of course. If it will calm you down, I'll give you a hug. Come here, precious. <sighs> you know, this is so nice. I love you. What is this? Why did you stab me in the back with? God, a piece of broken human bone. God, the bodies. Fuck the bodies. You took it from one of the dead bodies on the corner of the cell. <laughs> oh, you. Oh, you. Oh, God. I'm gonna have to punish you for. <laughs> Stop. Stop. Stop it, stop! My love, please, please, stop! <laughs> ah, very funny, very, very funny indeed. Did she really think she could kill me like this? <laughs> As if I'm five fucking hundred years old. This is nothing for me. Oh, and she even let that damn piece of bone stuck inside my back. Ah, uh, let me just get rid of... <gasps> ah, finally. Oh, God. Ah, I hate to admit it. 
but I didn't see that one coming. Uh, shame on me for letting my love for that little shit blind me, I guess. That's over now. No more Mr. Nice Vampire from now on. Oh, if she really thinks she can get away from me. Oh, <laughs> she's very, very wrong. Oh, once I put my hands on her. Oh. <laughs> I'll really have to control myself not to kill her. I'll just have my siblings look for her. Oh, but my darling is stronger than most vampires, but... If we track her down together, I'm sure we can find and capture that. What is that smell? It's blood. But it's not human. It's... No, 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 no. It's vampire blood. No, 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 no. No, 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 it can't be. Oh, it just can't. No. Please, no. No. My... No, my family. She Oh, no, no, no. No. Oh, no, no. smell. Oh, I can follow it. I can. Oh, God, I can feel her. Oh, she's still here. No, oh, she's still here, right? Oh, where are you? Where is she? Where? Oh, she's in the balcony. She's... Oh, I can smell her. Oh, I'm gonna... I'm gonna, I'm gonna make her pay. I swear. I swear. <laughs> for the perfect people to turn. Huh? Oh, how many centuries I've spent building my perfect family. Why, why would you, why? <laughs> they were monsters, monsters. <laughs> oh, well, guess what? You're a monster too, did you? Did you ever forget in that tiny brain of yours, huh? Are you going to kill yourself too, huh? You are. What? Is that... Is that because you're afraid of the punishment I'm going to give you? No, no, don't, 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 don't. Don't be afraid. I... I... I will try to not hurt you too much during the punishment, I promise. Please, you, you just need to say that you're sorry. Just say it. Say you're sorry for killing my... No, no. Our family. Say it! No, you can't. I won't allow you to kill yourself. You can't leave me. You're, you're all I have now. You killed my family and now you're doing this to yourself. No, no, you can't, please. Please. I... I, 
I don't, I don't want to be alone again. Please, don't, don't leave me alone. I, I, I love you. Uh, yes, I fucking love you. You, you know I do. Don't, don't leave me alone. Please, just get out of the balcony, okay? The sun's gonna rise soon, please. Don't, don't do that. I can't, I can't, I can't be alone again. I can't, I can't, I can't. I don't go with you. I don't. I shouldn't. <sighs> I should do it too. Let me, let me ask you something. When you said you love me, were you saying the truth? Or, or were you just trying to distract me enough to catch me off guard? I, I need to know the answer. You don't know if you love me. <laughs> I think that's enough for me. I'm already happy that I was able to plant the seed of doubt in your mind. Yeah. <sighs> you say you don't know what you feel. I'm pretty sure we both know the truth. Even if you don't love me for real. I know at least you like me in some very twisted and human way. You craved it for me. You lusted after me. Even if that's not love. <laughs> I think it was close enough. Wherever you're going, I'm going with you. So... <laughs> so if you want to die and spend eternity burning into the depths of hell, let's go together. I know if you don't, it's fine if you don't want to. It's, it's just... I'm never letting you out of my sight again. <sighs> Let's hug, darling. Just one last embrace before death comes for us. It's, it's all I need. <sighs> you surprise me all the time. Even after destroying everything I had, you still want to kiss. <sighs> I'll have to say no to that this time. That's a small punishment for what you did, sweetie. <sighs> the sun's here. <laughs> Ah, for the first time in my life, this weird and inhuman life, I can finally feel some warmth. Ah, it's almost touching us now. Huh? I can't wait to burn with you in my arms. Are you ready? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Ugh. <sighs>